Hello, my name is Olga. I am the CEO of Taloka, the crowdsourcing data labeling platform. And today we'd like to speak about the data that fuels AI solutions in e-commerce. Indeed, e-commerce is all about moving from offline to online. It is all about transforming offline data into a di digital form. And obviously, AI techniques are heavily used in order to improve the user experience in all the e-commerce solutions. And this trend is only expected to grow further. Among the use cases and solutions which are powered by AI in the e-commerce sphere, there is a lot about recommendation systems, search relevance evaluation, moderating of the content in the catalog, improving the uh, user experience in customer service, and many, many others. And with whichever machine learning production pipeline we take, we would everywhere see the fact that the majority of efforts is actually related to the collecting and labeling the data in order to train the models and evaluate their quality and then constantly update, update the training sets in order to make sure that our models are working correctly in the production and uh, developing in accordance to the changing context of, uh, context of the real-time world. And Taloka uh, was initially designed as an industrial solution to support all the real uh, industrial use cases of machine learning production with high-quality training data on a large scale. In general, AI technology stands on three key pillars. These are algorithms, hardware, and the data. And while the first two are very f common on the market already and equally available for every player on every market, the data is still the major bottleneck and actually, and actually the ultimate thing that de defines the quality of AI product. Because while uh, the algorithms and the uh, hardware are equally available for everybody, the quality of your data set is actually the ultimate thing that defines the quality of your product. And Taloka has initially been designed in a form of a two-sided market uh, where uh, the two parts meet. The, on the one hand, there are AI teams who actually need the data to train their algorithms and to validate the quality of these algorithms. And on the other hand, there, there are performers, we call them Talokers, people who choose the tasks which are interesting for them and perform them and get, get paid for these tasks. Taloka was initially established uh, more than seven years ago, and since that time, it has been constantly growing, both in terms of the number of teams who are using this technology to, to support their machine learning production, and by the number of performers who are providing the labels on the platform. And by this time, we have grown to become one of the largest crowdsourcing platforms in the, wor in the world, covering more than 100 countries uh, and providing the labels on more than 40 major languages. Uh, and we have more than 200,000 people uh, actively working on the platform every month, providing millions of labels collected every day. Taloka, as a universal self-service platform, covers the large variety of different use cases in all the domains of machine learning applications. But today, we would like to speak more about the particular use cases uh, related to the e-commerce. Actually, being an infrastructural platform allows us uh, to observe the major trends in the industry and to understand what are the major, the most popular technologies and the most demanded use cases, which are uh, most frequently used by the leading technological companies in the industry. And today, I would like to share three of the most popular and most highly demanded use cases related to the e-commerce. The first use case would be related to the very classical challenge of the quality of the recommendation systems uh, on the e-commerce solution. Indeed, obviously, the quality, the accuracy, and uh, the recall of uh, the recommendation systems actually is one of the major drivers of the growth of every e-commerce platform because the better we recommend complementary products uh, to the user, 
the better we may improve users' experience and drive their purchases. In order to train the model for the recommendation systems, first of all, you would need to collect the valid data set. Uh, and uh, Taloka provides the infrastructure to build such kind of the pipeline, uh, which consists of several steps. Uh, on every step, some minor efforts from many, many different people are required, but then these efforts taken together are resulted uh, into the collection of the final large-scale data set, which is resistant to the mistakes of single performers and can scale uh, on an industrial level, uh, which scale can de will depend only on the amount of data you actually need uh, to label. So one of the very classical use cases uh, is the evaluation of uh, the similarity or the relevance of uh, the complementary goods. Like, for example, in this case, when people are asked to evaluate whether these two goods can be considered complementary, like for the iPhone and the case for the iPhone, should the case be recommended for the user who is buying iPhone or not. Another use case uh, is uh, aimed to illustrate actually the alternative problem which is related to the recommendation systems because apart from the quality of recommendation for the similar or complementary goods, we should also take into account uh, the opportunity for serendipitous search, the opportunity for our system to recommend people some goods beyond their initial needs in order to uh, let them explore the large variety of different products on your platform. Uh, and one of uh, the teams uh, which is, uh, who is using Taloka to power their AI solutions has actually come up with a very smart and interesting solution for that. They have collected what they called the training set for the cool or interesting goods uh, so they have labeled the large data set of several dozens, thousands of different products, choosing out of them only specifically the products which can be named cool or interesting. So some products which can be interestingly recommended to the user, whichever uh, initial uh, product they were searching for. Uh, so this is also one of the... Uh, options and one of the approaches uh, of how to improve the quality of the recommendation systems in the e-commerce platform. And finally, the last case study which uh, I would like to share with you is related to a very old and traditional uh, AI problem related to the search. Indeed, the majority of purchases on the majority of uh, e-commerce platforms is now provided via the search, not via the browsing the product catalogs, but by typing the name of the product into the search bar and looking for the search results. And in many use cases, you cannot actually evaluate the, the real quality of uh, the search by only judging on the clicks, because clicks and some other online collect automatically collected data can be easily manipulated. Uh, users click on some things which can really be totally irrelevant to the user query. And that is why uh, the classic and traditional approach towards training the search ranking algorithms is related with collecting the human judgments on the relevance of the products. Because in many cases, only the human can uh, objectively evaluate whether the given product is a relevant answer to the user query or not. And that is why what we observe on Taloka as a platform is that one of the most popular use cases among all the e-commerce players uh, is actually related to the collecting the training data for the search algorithms. Uh, and in many cases, using Taloka comp in comparison to the in-house solutions allows to significantly increase the amount of data which can be collected using the crowdsourcing 
and the speed of collecting and updating the training sets and also the quality due to the large amount of uh, quality control techniques uh, which are embedded into the Taloka platform. Uh, so the use cases related to search relevant evaluation are very popular and only gaining popularity in the e-commerce sphere. This is what we observe constantly that more and more e-commerce players are turning uh, from training on automatically collected data such as clicks towards training on human labels of the relevance of the search in order to train their algorithms to improve the quality of the search on the e-commerce platforms. So to sum it up, uh, I would like to remind you that first of all, obviously, e-commerce is all about moving from offline to online and AI solutions are more and more heavily used in all the spheres related to the e-commerce. But in order to train your AI solutions, you need uh, to collect training data on an industrial scale to make it an industrial and technological pro process. And here is where Taloka can help you because it is designed to make the data labeling, not the people management, but a purely engineering task, which can be almost fully automated and provide your e-commerce solutions uh, with a large amounts of high quality training data uh, on an industrial scale. Thank you so much.